this place is a total wreck. Do you seriously think anybody would come to a place like this? I wonder if we've been fed some false information again. Again? That's far enough! This area is under the jurisdiction of the Hunting Blades! That voice! These measures have been taken to prevent the injury of innocent bystanders! Man! Chief and Tyson with you? Have you guys been getting along okay without me? Don't take that buddy-buddy tone with me! Aw, don't be like that. I only got a little lost. A little lost? That's a good one. You know you just ran away. I didn't run away, I swear! Still making excuses, huh? It's not an excuse. I beat an egg bear just like I said I would. More lies. I mean it! Is this how you repay being taken in by the hunting blades? Remind me who it was that said, I swear I won't run away this time. You always run and hide at the first sign of trouble. You've been kicked out of every guild in the book. Shut up! You shut your mouth! Huh! Even we've already fired you. Wait! You have been warned by the hunting blades. Leave this area at once. If you fail to heed this warning, you do so at the risk of your own lives. Man! Uh. This still doesn't explain what the hunting blades are doing here. Good point. Rita, wait! Are you forgetting about the warning? She never said we weren't allowed to enter. But what about the risking our lives part? Are you implying that I should listen to that brat? Don't make me laugh. At any rate, the Blood Alliance doesn't seem to be here. Let's have a look around. Man, why did it have to end up like this? They said... they said I was... fired! Carol, keep your spirits up. I can't be happy anymore. It's like her words are a dagger in my heart. She was just worried it'd be too dangerous for you. There's still hope. Huh? Y you think so? Ugh, whatever. I don't care about what she thinks. The problem is your guild, right? I get it. Right. Yeah. I don't care about Nan. This hurts to watch. I'm rooting for you, Carol. destroyed by an earthquake? The buildings all look kind of strange. Yeah, they don't look like they collapsed from the ground shaking. Something's weird. Yeah, so how were they destroyed then? Got me. Maybe we can find out by asking someone who used to live in the town. That's not really why we're here though, so why should we care? You actually have a point there.
Blades mainly do as a guild. Well, like their name says, they make their living hunting monsters. It's not like there's any shortage of monsters once you're outside the barriers. Business must be booming. Yeah, they definitely get a lot of commissions. But the hunting blades aren't killing monsters just because someone asked them to. Monsters are evil. This evil must be punished. That's the creed of the hunting blades. I wonder if any of them are doing it just for their own personal grudges against monsters. Oh yeah, a lot of people. Like Nan's parents were killed right before her eyes when she was a kid. Huh. It'd be hard not to hold a grudge after something like that.
water is floating? It looks like that Blastia is causing it. And probably this strange feeling as well. Huh. He's similar to the ones at Emmied Hill in Capua Noor. Is it broken? When a Blastia breaks, it loses its ability to take in air. There's no way it would get like this. So, what's going on? I don't know. What could he be trying to do? W was that a monster? M monster! Take it easy. You're not feeling well. And there aren't any doctors around here. Huh? But... but I... Ah! The barrier's gonna fail. Don't worry. That's a reverse barrier. A reverse barrier? It's a powerful barrier for holding monsters. He won't get out of there anytime soon. But the air here... This isn't normal. I got a bad feeling about this. It's starting to disappear! Rita! Calm down. I'll have it fixed in no time. Sorry. None of us here are nice enough to take your friendly warning seriously. Huh. <laughs> you don't say. Well, now, if it isn't that runt Carol who got his sorry butt cut from the team. The air must be affecting him. It looks pretty thick over there. That's just what we want. You won't just sit tight and behave yourselves. We're only interested in taking out this big brute. You sure talk big. Taking care of a pet is a big responsibility, you know. Don't go abandoning him for someone else to take care of. Uh. Him again! Whew. Hey, I feel better. The barrier's down! Of course! That dragon tree broke the blast you! You're dead, Frank! Some anger. Show me what a monster's like. Now I'm gonna mop the floor with you. Huh? Looks like he wants the first piece of action, Clint. Well. Oh! 
monster was huge. Hey, what's with the kid? like you who are still growing. The younger you are, the more of an effect the air will have. Huh. Guess that makes sense. Ah, oh, the common rabble. 
So I finally found you. That's far enough. You lackeys must have had a lot of time on your hands if you crossed the ocean just to see us. <laughs> You're in no position to talk down to the likes of me. Now, princess, right this way. Huh? What does he mean, princess? The princess standing right here in front of us. Y Yuri, but how did you... What? Estelle's a princess? I suspected as much myself. Rita, you too? Wait, you've got to be kidding! And what will happen to my friends? Why, they'll be drawn and quartered for abducting a member of the royal family, of course. Please, wait! I wasn't abduct- Ah, oh, what a mouthy young lady you are. This way, please. Estelle! Now die like the flies you are. Arrest the culprit Yuri Lowell and his accomplices! Swan Brigade! Just a minute. This prize catch is mine. I won't let you take him from me that easily. Catch! Our duties are not to be carried out in the fashion of a hunt. <laughs> did I not also hear someone mention dying earlier? You did. What is wrong with condemning criminals to their deaths? Should not criminals be captured and judged in accordance with the laws? I suppose I can let you have these little worms. If it isn't Schwann, it's Fling. These upstart commoners are so full of themselves, even that commandant. Uh, this way, please, your highness. Uh, do watch your step. Um, but I... Yes, right this way. Arrest them in the name of Captain Schwann! Okay, Yuri Lowell gang, it's curtains for you, I say. What do you mean, gang? H hey, get your hands off me! Do you know who I am? But I haven't done anything. Don't hurt them, I beg you. Estelle, don't worry. Yuri! Just start walking. Walk, I say. Ow! Hey, watch him with the pulling. Sir Schwann, we shall take these undesirables to Heliord. All members, fall out! Continuing on, we will review the particulars of your 18th crime. Please do. Is it true that you threw a knight sent to collect the taxes into the river? Wow, I'd forgotten about that. Was that you, Tweedleray? That's right! I was in bed with a cold for three whole days thanks to you. How many more of these are there? This is getting pretty boring. I wonder what'll happen to me. So I'll write you have no signs of remorse in the report then. Where's that do-nothing captain of yours anyway? What was his name? Schwann? Playing hooky because he's the big shot. You dare mock our captain. Sir Schwann is a legendary hero and a veteran of the Great War ten years ago. So basically his eminence would never stoop so low as to deal with nobodies like us. Quiet, I say. Quiet! Getting on to your next offense. Your Excellency, Commandant Alexei, to what do we owe this pleasure? Alexei? What? All your crimes are hereby pardoned by the good graces of their highnesses Esteles and Yoder. What? But these foul criminals have disturbed the peace of the Empire! The Imperial Knights thank you for rescuing Prince Yoder and protecting Princess Esteles. Please, take this. We've got no need for this. It's not like we did those things for the sake of the knights. I see. 
What about Estelle? She has just given her consent to be returned to the Imperial capital. What? Well, I guess she is a princess after all. The princess is waiting at the inn. We would be pleased if you made an appearance. surprised to find out that Estelle was a princess. I had a feeling. She knew Flynn, and she was obviously brought up as a noble. Shut up. You knew already. Maybe. Oh, man. I wonder if I was rude to her without realizing it. Your language has been unpardonable. Captain Carroll, the sentence for insulting royalty is... decapitation. Been nice knowing you. What about you? You're way more rude than I am. Guess it's off with both our heads, then. What? Th that's idiots.
Since the Imperial Knights have interrogated me, I forgot how tiring it was. Even the Princess and His Highness Yoder got involved. And two captains and the Commandant. And with Flynn here too, they're leaving the capital totally defenseless. Pretty sloppy work.
monster we saw in Karabakram was. That beast was way tougher than anything I've ever seen before. If it didn't run away when it did, we'd have been in a world of hurt. That's a surprisingly cautious opinion coming from you. Not that I disagree when it comes to a monster like that. Do you think it was the hunting blades who trapped it in a reverse barrier? Yeah, probably. It looked like they came to take that monster down. And whatever the case, I don't want to meet up with a monster like that again.
think I'm totally useless. After what happened when you first met me, and at Kerr Bakram, and today. I think everyone freaked out today. Even the great commandant was pretty in over his head. There are lots of things even grown-ups can't do. Even you, Yuri? Yeah, I guess so. It's a tough world. Now you got the idea. Hey, Yuri? Hmm? Do you think you'd want to maybe start a guild with me? A guild, huh? Yeah, that's an idea. I'll think about it. Really? What, you're surprised? I thought you'd say, no way! I've been in enough messes already! Or something. Not all adults think like that, you know. Anyway, it's late. Let's get some rest and see how she's doing in the morning. Come in. Glad to see you're awake. And after I told her over and over to call me before she collapses. You didn't think she'd really listen to you, did you? <sighs> she looks happy. Hey, so... What do you think Estelise thinks of me? Why are you making that face? I just didn't think you were the kind of person who cared what other people thought. Forget it. You can go now. Compared to those formulas of yours, she should be easy to figure out. Huh? huh? Rita! You're awake! But be careful. It's just when you think you've recovered that you're in the most danger. It's alright. I'm fine. Also, you don't need to pretend to be using that Blastia anymore. I... what do you mean? It's pretty cool that you can use healing arts without a Blastia. But... but how did you... What the... Hey, it's that dragon freak! Are you all right? Don't you ever learn? It sounds like the sky is falling in here. What's going on? Huh? Ah! What was that thing? Just when the conversation was getting interesting. That's enough talk about Estelle's healing arts for now. Fine by me. I pretty much figured it out anyway. Don't look at me like that. Do I really look like that much of a bad guy to you? Yes. <laughs> hey, wait! What's going on, you guys? Come on, tell me! Well, take care on the way back to the capital. Okay. Do you have everything? Wouldn't want to have to come back later. If I forget anything, you'll bring it to me, won't you? <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, let's go find Flynn. I'll take you that far. Uh, um, what are you all gonna do after this? Hmm, well, we did lose track of the Blood Alliance. That's easy! We can just go to Dawncrest! Or not. Man, if I go back there now, they'll all just laugh at me. Dawncrest? That's the Guild City, right? Yeah. I thought we could find out about the Blood Alliance there. What direction is it from here? Well, it's to the west, I guess, but... Let's check it out, then. Might be helpful for anybody thinking you're starting a guild, too. Huh? For starting a guild? Well, let's go, then!